All right, so it's true that the barrier to entry is lower than ever before, and it's easier than ever to get started in music, but can you really make it to where you wanna go on your own? Let's answer that question today. What's up guys, Brandon here from KDMR Music, the channel making you a more successful musician. And we do this through videos about music marketing, music business strategy, and other education and videos just like this one. So if you're interested in that type of content, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell icon. That way you're notified when new videos go live. Now, I've been on a bit of a hiatus, right? I've been doing videos sporadically, like once or twice a month. But I asked you guys recently, like, hey, when I'm making videos, what do you guys want me to talk about? And a few people had the same question, so I figured I'd go ahead and answer it, right? And that question is, can an independent musician really make it on their own? And I, of course, the answer to that is, mm, it depends. Right. And what that really depends on is what is your definition of making it right now? I start off all these videos by saying this channel is here to make you a more successful musician. Well, success. What is that? Success is basically did you achieve the goal that you set out for yourself? So for some of you, you guys want to be Drake. Right. And for others, you just want to pay your bills without having to go to a day job. You want to be able to tinker with your guitar, go out and play shows and, you know, live just a normal life. But with music as your job and no matter which of those goals you have, I want to help you achieve them. Right. Someone specifically asked in the comments like, hey, can I be as big as Ariana Grande by myself? And um, that's just a funny reference. I mean, you can be as big or as little as you want to be, but here's here's the real thing, right? No one in music makes it on their own, right? Now, we could take that to be like some esoteric statement, like, well, technically no one's alone because you have to have fans, right? But no, seriously, whether it's your fans, whether it's your friends and family, whether it is outside supporters, whether it's a manager, a publicist, a radio DJ, to make it to where you want to be, there's no way you can do it 100% by yourself, right? And there are people, to be fair, there are artists who pride themselves on doing the vast majority of the work themselves, right? I remember I went out to a show one time um, in North Carolina and there was a dude that was performing and his whole stick was, I make the beat, I write the rhyme, I record the rap, I book the show, right? And that is awesome. If you are talented enough as a musician to get people to want to come see you and you're talented enough as a businessman to actually conduct all the behind the scenes things to make a show happen, then more power to you. That is amazing. But for most people, it's not going to be that way. Most people who are creative or creatively minded aren't very business minded and vice versa. So a lot of the times musicians miss out on opportunities because they're too far in one zone or the other. That's why I think uh, out of all the relationships that there are to be had in the music industry, the most important is the relationship between an artist and that artist's manager, right? An artist manager, their job is typically to, you know, pretty much serve as the CEO of the artist's business. They're fielding calls, they're fielding email inquiries, they're the ones staying on top of your schedule, making sure that you go from point A to point B when you're supposed to. And, you know, at the highest levels of artist management, the manager's job is to recruit a team to work for the artist. And the manager is basically in charge of that team. Everyone reports to the manager and then the manager reports to the artist. Now, by all means, this channel and others on YouTube are all about artist education. I don't believe that you as an artist should hire anyone unless you 100% know what they're going to be doing. 
So to a certain extent, that means you need to be able to do that person's job. And the only reason you're hiring them is because you don't have the bandwidth to do their job and to do your job as well, right? But everyone, every artist, every human, I believe, should make it their point to operate in their area of expertise, right? In their sphere, right? So if your uh, talent, like your otherworldly talent that can't be duplicated anywhere else is singing, then you need to spend a whole lot of your time singing and perfecting that and working on your voice and, and going to vocal training and, and trying new things with your voice, right? You shouldn't be spending eight to 10 hours a day handling business stuff. Right. So you absolutely need someone on your team, especially if you plan to grow. Right. You can spend all your time trying to do all of the things and you can get a certain level of success. Right. If you are someone who doesn't want, you know, extreme levels of fame, you're not looking to make like multiple six figures a year. You're not looking to make millions and be on TV. Chances are you can do 90% of all the tasks that need to be done yourself. You can design merchandise. You can become a graphic designer. You can design your merchandise. You can go to the screen printer. You can have the shirts printed and then you can mail them out every time someone places an order on the website. But that's super time consuming. You can be the one setting up all your paperwork and negotiating all of your sponsorship deals. But that's time consuming. There's only 24 hours in a day and time management is probably the greatest, the greatest single attribute that you can have, right? The greatest skill that you can master has to be time management in a bit in a career field like this, where everything is variable, where nobody's telling you to clock in or clock out and you only eat what you kill, right? You're going to need people on your team. Now, I've got videos about how to assemble a team as an artist. But before you jump off and watch one of those, let me answer the, what I think the heart of the question really is. I think what most people mean when they say, can I do it on my own? They mean, can I do it without like the major label system behind me? Can I do it without you know millions of dollars or a machine behind me? And the answer to that is yes. Right. You can absolutely have a successful career in music without ever being on the radio, uh, without ever showing your face on TV. Right. Without, you know, shaking hands and kissing babies. But each career path in music is a little bit different from each other. And they all take a very committed level of work from you. Right. So chances are, if you're trying to be Ariana Grande or Drake, no, there's absolutely no way you can do all of it by yourself. At the very least, you're going to need a manager and a booking agent, right? Even Chance the Rapper, who has been like the face of independence in music for the last several years, even he had an artist manager, and he still has a manager now, had a team. He's got Kara Lewis as his agent representing him. He's got a lot of high-powered and well-connected people in the music and entertainment and even tech industries backing him and who are in his corner to support him. Does that make him any less independent than you are? No, but it does mean that he understands the value of teamwork and, you know, multiple people working together for a common goal. And that's absolutely something you're going to have to learn too, no matter what level of success you're looking to see in the music industry. So the short answer, can you make it by yourself? No. Can you make it without the major label system behind you? Absolutely. And there are several ways to do it. Um, I recommend you browse through the channel and watch some of my videos about music marketing, about finding your target audience, um, about running your music business. And if you need more help, I've got resources that you can find linked in the description below as well. Uh, so I hope this video was helpful. I hope this answered your question. If you have more questions you want me to answer, hit me up in the comments below. Um, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Until then, be safe, be well, keep dreaming, and work hard to make those music business dreams your reality. Peace.